Hello, this is Greg Deckler, and welcome to DAX for Humans. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a running total in DAX. So to prepare for this video, I added uh, to our sample data set, I added a date column with just some dates here for January 2nd, 2023, January 10th, January 11th, January 14th. Okay, so let's take a look. So it's a little bit messy here, but I've got a running total measure, and this is how, basically how you construct it. And you'll see it follows the same pattern that I've been showing you in previous videos. So we first thing we do is we grab the max of our date from our from our in context, and then we filter the table where the date is less than than that date. Now, if you notice here, we've got a new function here called all. So what all does is all removes all filters. So things like you know pickle and banana or the date that's in like this right here. So it removes the date filter. So now I've got all the rows of my table. And then I'm filtering that down to where the date is less than the maximum date. That's in context. And then I do an X aggregation of sum X across that for the total cost column. And that gives me the visual you see here where you can see it's nice, smoothly increasing over time. Now, you can also see this in table form. So you see 16.95, 32.91, etc. And then here I've got a two CSV version of this. So what I've done is I've just done running total, and instead of returning the result, I return the two CSV of my table variable. And you can see as I, you can see in the first on January 2nd, I only have two rows in context. And you can see that corresponds to these two rows here. And then the next one I have those two rows plus an additional row, that's January 10th. And then for January 11th, I've got the first two rows on January 2nd, the one from January 10th, and then another one from January 11th. And finally, on my last date, January 14th, I have all five rows in, you know, are in context, essentially, or in scope that are being, that the X aggregator is running across. So that's how easy it is to construct a running total. Now, what if, but let's say you wanted to add banana, grapefruit, and pickle, you wanted to add this as a legend into your line graph. Well, the way to do that this running item by to running total by item, where now I grab the maximum of my date, the maximum of my item, and then I filter again all of the table where the item equals the item and the date is less than the date. I do a sum x, and there you go. And so you can see here again, I've got the same two CSV function going, where you can see what's in context on each date and for each item. So that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.